For that, we turn to Elon Goldenberg. He served as chief of staff to the U.S. Special Envoy for Israeli-Palestinian negotiations during the Obama administration. He now directs the Middle East Security Program at the Center for a New American Security. What Biden has decided to do for the moment is privately tell the Israelis to stop or to stop soon while publicly continuing to support them. This helps him build political support inside of Israel. It also gives them leverage for the future. But when there does come a moment, hopefully soon, if it hasn't happened already privately, where Biden says, "Okay, enough is enough. You must stop or our public position is going to start to shift. Our position at the U.N. Security Council where we've been defending you is going to start to shift. You need to make this end. You need to have the civilian casualties end. But if he had just started by publicly criticizing, I think that the belief, at least in the Biden administration, is that it might have been actually a moment for Prime Minister Netanyahu to stand up to the United States and say, we don't take our orders from the United States. We have to do what's best in our security and kind of use the disagreement with the U.S. as a political rallying cry for himself at home. And so I think this is one of the reasons why the Biden administration chose to, at least at the beginning, publicly support Israel. But on the 